In this problem, we have a cylinder with mass of 4 kilograms and a radius of 0.05 meters. We set the cylinder on an inclined plane with an angle of 30 degrees. What is the acceleration of the cylinder down the ramp? To solve this problem, we'll be using the formula radius times the angular acceleration equals the tangential acceleration. This can be expanded to radius times the torque over the moment of inertia equals the tangential acceleration. So now we need to find the torque on the cylinder. Recall that torque is a force that makes an object want to pivot times the distance to the pivot point or moment arm. So the force is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity and this goes straight down. Now where is the pivot point? Well if you were to say the center you'd be incorrect. It is actually the point of contact of the cylinder and the ramp. The perpendicular distance from our force to the point of contact on the ramp is the moment arm. Now we can solve the right triangle using the property of right triangles, Sokotoa, and we get a moment arm of radius times the sine of the ramp angle of 30 degrees. Multiplying the force times the moment arm, we get a torque of mass times gravity times the radius times the sine of 30 degrees. Now we must find the moment of inertia. Well, the moment of inertia of a cylinder is one half mass times radius squared, so it must be that, right? No, that is the moment of inertia about the center line that goes through the center of each circle face. Remember our pivot point is not here. We will need to use the parallel axis theorem, which I'm not going to go into great detail, but basically if we want to change the pivot point of a known moment of inertia, we can add the mass times the radius squared to it, assuming it is parallel to the axis. This yields 3 over 2 times the mass times the radius squared equals the moment of inertia in this case. Now we can plug our torque equation and our moment of inertia equation into the radius times the torque divided by the moment of inertia formula. This all equals the tangential acceleration of the cylinder. Reducing this yields 2 thirds times gravity times the sine of the angle equals the acceleration tangential to the outside edge of the cylinder. Plugging in our acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per second per second, we get an acceleration of 3.27 meters per second per second as the acceleration of the cylinder down the ramp. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.